and they're off. Spa City toward the outside. Fan Club in between. Contact tracing is there. Girolamo's attack tucks in behind early on. The back to Whiskey Double and two by two. Up the shoot they go. Now there's four across the track. Spa City up for an arrow lead. Contact tracing is right there. These two head and head as they cross over and down inside. Fan Club comes on and Girolamo's attack behind them. Onto the main track they go. Fan Club comes on to take over. Fan Club's the leader by a length down the back stretch. Run. Spa City prompting in second. Contact tracing on the outside third. Girolamo's attack is an up close. Fourth just two lengths off the lead. And then at the back are two by two and Whiskey Double, but they're only four lengths behind Fan Club, who hits the half mile pole after an opening half in 46 and four. Onto the far turn. Fan Club opens up a length and a half now. Fan Club running the far turn. Spa City contact tracing coming with their runs now. And they come on two and three wide. And two by twos on the scene. Fourth on the outside of Gerolamo's attack. Whiskey Double's been moved to the far outside. At the quarter pole, Fan Club still in front off the turn. Fan Club cuts the corner. Contact tracing is there. So too Spa City. Two by two, fully extended but grinding away. Whiskey double down the center. Eighth pole, Fan Club and Spa City head to head. Fan Club inside, Spa City outside. Spa City grabs the lead right at the 16th. Fan Club fights on, but it's second best to Spa City. Spa City won it. Fan Club was second. Two by two was third, and contact tracing was fourth. And they're off. Grayson's Macho Gal breaks out on top. Jungle Juice, not the best of beginnings. Races up toward the inside to be second. But Grayson's Macho Gal has taken charge and steps out to lead by two into the opening turn. Goes a little bit wide there. And Jungle Juice was forced outward. Will Secret wide on the track, racing up into third. And Candy Raid heads over to the rail to save ground fourth. Up top, it's Grayson's Macho Gal with a two-length lead unchallenged so far. Jungle Juice and Will Secret. They're together. Second and third. Now two and a half behind Grayson's Macho Gal. A margin of four from there to Candy Raid who's allowed to settle in at the back of the pack. Six or seven lengths off the leader. Five for longs remaining. The opening quarter managed in 24 and one-fifth seconds. The opening half in 47 and one. Grayson's Macho Gal steps out now to lead by three with four for longs to go. Grayson's Macho Gal hits the far turn in command. Will Secret is on the move now. Up into second. Jungle Juice back to third. Still a ways back to Candy Raid fourth. Round the far turn. Catching up to Grayson's Macho Gal. Will Secret is drawn to within a half a length. Grayson's Macho Gal is set down for the drive. These two head to head off the turn. Candy Raid rolls up into third. Top of the stretch. Grayson's Macho Gal hanging tough. Will Secret fully extended. These two still head to head. Candy Raid third. Eighth pole coming. Grayson's Macho Gal's a tough customer. Will Secret desperately trying to get by. Short lead 16th pole. Will Secret in front. Grayson's Macho Gal will fight to the finish, but is second best. Will Secret, a hard fought win there. Grayson's Macho Gal and Candy Raid. They're in the gate. And they're off. And Prince of Roses with a good beginning. Talks Cheap is there and Ransom Painter between them. Talks Cheap, Ransom Painter, Prince of Roses backs off the track from third. Ironsides comes through toward the inside to be fourth early. Out of Alcatraz angles off the rail to track the pace from fifth. River Boy and Lead Tasso are the back two. Clubhouse turn and Ransom Painter goes on with it now. Under a hard hold, Ransom Painter grabs the lead and strides out a length and a half. Talks Cheap defers into second. Prince of Roses keeping pace with them in third. Out of Alcatraz, also under a hold. Moves up on the outside, fourth. Ironsides coasting along in behind that second flight while fifth. River Boy led Tasso with the two trailers still. Six or seven lengths off, Ransom Painter, who heads down the backstretch run. The opening fraction was sharp, 23 and 2, to a 47 and 3 half. There's four for longs to go. And Ransom Painter hits the fire, turn in control. Talks cheap, getting closer now. 
Talks cheap coming on two wide as they round the far turn. Prince of Roses revving up three wide. Ransom Painters giving way. So now it's Prince of Roses and Talks cheap going head to head with River Boy revving up as well, coming on three wide. Ironsides is right there in behind while fourth and Lead Tassel's caught up too. They're off the turn. River Boy, River Boy comes off the turn and just like that opens up by two and a half. Prince of Roses left behind. Ironsides comes through toward the rail. Lead Tasso on the outside. Eighth pole, River Boy bounding away by four with a 16th to go. And River Boy is going to win this full of run. The final margin about six in the end. Ironsides got second. Prince of Roses third. Lead Tasso fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Off to a pretty even start. Ship it down inside, takes the early initiative. In Spiteful comes on from the outside. Gimme Candy is there. Lanterns Candy pulls back off to settle into fourth as they hit the clubhouse turn. And it's Ship It and Gimme Candy to go head-to-head -head early on. From the far outside, and Spiteful's on to grab third. Lanterns Candy a little bit off the rail racing, fourth by two. I Need a Girl Like You comes away fifth. Hal's Dream down inside six. Wicked Wonders, seventh. Monocacy at the back and eighth. Five lengths from top to bottom. Pretty tight pack as they turn to the back stretch run. And the opening quarter goes in 23 and four. Gimme Candy sharing the lead with Ship It. Opening at the inside for Lanterns Candy if she wants to take advantage, but she backs off as Ship It angles back down toward the rail. In Spiteful continues on in the clear while fourth. I need a girl like you, fifth. Hal's Dream advancing inside six. Monocacy, Wicked Wonders now the trailer as they move to the far turn. The half and 48 and two fifth seconds. Up top, Ship It and Gimme Candy continue to guide the field along with three for longs to go. Lanterns Candy is given more rain now, and here she comes with a three wide bit as they round the turn. And farther back, Hal's Dream is picking it up as well. Monocacy is now fifth. They hit the quarter pole. Gimme Candy comes away with a short lead. Ship It gives way down inside. Lanterns Candy is right there too, and Hal's Dream pops outside for the final furlong. Gimme Candy set down. Holding on to the lead. Lanterns Candy fights on but is second. Hal's Dream third. Wicked Wonder fourth. Gimme Candy first. And she spurts away. Gimme Candy under the wire to win it by four in the end. And the photo for second goes to Lanterns Candy. Hal's Dream third. Wicked Wonder fourth. And they're off. One cold dude mid-pack bounces out on top. Conspiracy fact is there. So too paid in full. Lord Captain toward the inside pulls out of there as they race for the first turn where one cool dude and paid in full. The two quickest into the turn. Paid in full for the outside post. Comes on to take charge. So paid in full steps out to lead. One cool dude pulls back off to sit second. Conspiracy fact rank while third. And then down inside, Lord Captain is racing along in fourth. Coastal Chaos moves up from fifth. Three lengths back. Fort Defiance now sixth. Alexis and Nico running along seventh. Mr. Creed is eighth. Deep State ninth by four. And Bay Bladers to trailer a dozen lengths off the lead. The opening quarter in 23 and three. Paid in full down the back stretch run. Room at the rail for one cool dude. And he punches up on through to challenge for the top spot. And Conspiracy Fact is looming to their outside third with four furlongs to go. Lord Captain nudged along fourth and toward the rail. Coastal Chaos fifth, four lengths back. Mr. Creed racing sixth, still six lengths off the lead. Deep State follows that one in seventh round the turn. Then it's Fort Defiance, Babe Blader, and Alexis and Nico. They move for the top of the stretch. Nothing left for paid in full. Conspiracy fact and one cool dude. Head to head as they hit the quarter pole. Coastal Chaos is wide off the turn. Deep State is picking it up. Mr. Creed's in behind horses as they race for the mid-stretch marker. One cool dude down inside. Conspiracy fact outside. Coastal Chaos splits them. And Deep State is rolling down the center. And here's Deep State who sweeps to the lead and kicks away. Deep State wins it. Two and a half in the end. Coastal Chaos was second. Conspiracy Fact was third. Tight for fourth, Mr. Creeder Bayblader.
and they're off. And Mean Sue broke on top. Down inside is Lady Strum racing for the lead as well. And Tim Bavati joins them for the outside. Singing Emma comes through down inside too. Scramble is on early. Lady Strum short lead. Tim Bavati and Singing Emma second and third chasing. Mean Sue is back into fourth classic. Farewell racing fifth. And then it's Lone Street in the center of the track. Sixth break of three back to Lily's Creed who's now seventh. Sense of Heart is eighth. She's Jersey Tough in ninth. And Catherine Blaze is the trailer. Far turn run contested quarter. 21 in three fifth seconds. And Timba Vadi takes over with three furlongs to go. Timba Vadi opening up on the far turn. But Mean Sue is coming on and coming on quickly now. Here's Mean Sue with a three wide sweep right to the front outside the quarter pole. And Singing Emma comes through toward the inside. Tim Bavati is back into third. They're off the turn. Mean Sue's in front. In front by two. Now it's by three. Now it's by four. Mean Sue by the eighth pole. Tim Bavati fights on. Singing Emma late on the scene as Lily's Creed down to the final 16th. Mean Sue with a five length lead. And it will be Mean Sue down to the wire. The winner by four lengths in the end. Lily's Creed ran on for second. Sense of Heart might have grabbed third from Tim Bavati. They're in the gate. And they're off. Bit awkward out of there for Outwork and good start for Oncoming Train, who's racing for the front. Trigger Happy is there, too. And Atris on the far outside. So they cross over, and Atris is up for the lead with six furlongs to go. Trigger Happy keeping pace down toward the rail. Oncoming Train is back into third. Outwork in up into fourth. Two lengths back, Mr. Thunderstruck is racing in fifth. 90s Country advancing in between. Wow, six speedboat toward the rail. Seventh hometown hero. Eighth and already nine lengths off to lead. El Franco second to last early. And Ty Tiger Moon, the trailer, down the back stretch run, 22 and 4. The opening quarter, they're on to the far turn, trigger happy, confronted by Atris. An oncoming train, an outwork, and the four of them across the track. And right in behind is Mr. Thunderstruck, fifth, angling over toward the inside to save ground for the run to the quarter pole. And Hometown Heroes picking it up as well. So too, El Franco, but it's forced to go wide. They hit the quarter pole. Oncoming train has taken charge off the turn. Opens up to lead by two. Mr. Thunderstruck is up into second. Hometown Heroes now third, racing for the eighth pole. Mr. Thunderstruck storming down the center has collared oncoming train and has taken the lead mr thunderstruck to the front oncoming train back to second hometown hero tiger moon too late mr thunderstruck under the wire two and a half in the end oncoming train was second tight for third their hometown hero or tiger moon they're in the gate and they're off. Can't be touched. Awkward out of there. Veer to the far outside rider. Really having a hard time staying aboard, but somehow did. Meanwhile, Sue Ellen Mishkin fires through toward the inside and grabs the lead. Opens up by two and a half. Solitude is on the chase in second. St. Arrow's Girl comes away third. She's cold as ice. Heads over to the rail to track the pace from fourth. The Jarity is racing in fifth. Waters of Merrim is sixth. Can't be touched, is back on track, but is trailing and is eight lengths off the lead. Four furlongs to go. The opening quarter for Sue Ellen Mishkin in 21 and four. Far turn run in front by just a length now. Solid tune is hard on the chase in second. St. Arrow's girl spun out three wide, moving up from third. These three come together just outside the quarter pole. Legerity is back in fourth. She's cold as ice, is racing fifth. They hit the top of the stretch. Sue Ellen Mishkin set down for the drive, turning for home short. Short lead. St. Darrow's girl is there. Solid tune fights on between them. One for long to go. Sue Ellen Mishkin hanging tough toward the rail. Short lead. Solid tune desperately trying to get by. So too St. Darrow's girl. Final 16th coming. Sue Ellen Mishkin digs down deep. And Sue Ellen Mishkin would not be denied beating Solid Tune on the wire. St. Darrow's girl was third, and it's a photo for fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. And it was a good start for Bubble Rock at mid-pack. Out looking for the lead. Joyful applause comes on from the far outside. 
take a stand down toward the rail, gets a forward spot as well. But Bubble Rock right to the front, and she's cruising along out there. Leads by a length. Joyful applause is stalking in second. Take a stand. Settles in toward the rail third. Fancy Martini tucks in behind to be fourth early. Lovely Princess right up against the rail fifth. Quality Star sixth. Lady Pooch racing seventh. California Angels back in eighth and is already nine lengths off Bubble Rock. And then it's She's Gone and six back to the trailing Sweet Lady Ivanka, who's a dozen lengths behind as they hit the back stretch run. And the opening quarter goes in 24 seconds flat. And it's Bubble Rock coasting along down the back stretch run, unchallenged on a two length lead. Joyful Applause is a clear second, and Take a Stand is still third toward the rail. Fancy Martini, fourth, given a little nudge there past the half mile pull. Lovely Princess buried at the inside, fifth. Quality Star, six. Lady Pucci toward the rail, seventh. California Angel still eighth. Eight lengths off the lead as they round the far turn, where Bubble Rock is the leader and continues to run on strongly. Clear a length and a half outside the quarter pull. Joyful applause is set down. Take a stand is there. Fancy Martini swings wide. So too quality star. Lovely Princess buried in behind horses as they race for the eighth pull. Bubble Rock is still in front and front by two. Joyful applause and take a stand from far back. Quality star trying to muster up a late rally. California Angel got stopped. It is Bubble Rock in front and joyful applause and take a stand. And they virtually went that way all the way. Bubble Rock, wire to wire, joyful applause, take a stand. And it was either Lovely Princess or also there was Lady Poochie. They're in the gate. And they're off. And Anchor hustled hard right out of there. Zip and Gigi toward the outside is showing some speed as well as they race up the chute and they come for the main track and a scramble on early. Gulfstream Way punches through toward the rail to grab a narrow lead. Seal Beach is there on the far outside as well. Zip and Gigi in between them. Anchors back into fourth. Max time on the outside away. Fifth Spartan Army comes out in sixth. Call Me Fast advancing inside seventh. Appeal denied is eighth. Dr. Perry's running along in ninth about six or seven lengths off the lead. And then it is Kapuna buried at the inside but within range for the far turn run. Milliken is second to last and the trailer to the far turn is legendary lore. The opening quarter goes in 22 and two fifth seconds. They round the far turn. Seal Beach is cranking up the pressure on Zip and Gigi. Anchors hovering three wide right there just off the pace. They come for the top of the stretch and Seal Beach steps on it. Seal Beach, just like that, builds a two-length lead and rolls off to turn in front. Anchor set down for the drive in second. Gulfstream Way is third. Kapuna's rallying fourth and now third. Five lengths to make up, one for long to go. Seal Beach by two and a half. Anchor continues to fight on. Seal Beach still clear. Anchor second down to the wire, and Seal Beach got it. Three lengths in the end and a decisive winner there. Anchor held second, then it was Kapuna. And from far back, Milliken was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. West Willpower broke alertly and is right to the front. Saez puts him right on the lead, right off the mark. Proxy. Showing speed toward the inside, but West Willpower secures the top spot with a circuit to go. Proxy backs off to be second and Junction comes away third. Last Samurai on the outside in fourth. Rich Strike comes away down inside fifth. He's five lengths off West Willpower and one ahead of Folsom, who is the trailer in the early stages. So around the clubhouse turned they go. West Willpower the leader. Proxy has come off the rail now and is going to stalk the pace as they turn to the back stretch run. Six furlongs remaining in the opening quarter 23 and 4 West Willpower down the back stretch run Proxy pressing five for lungs to go two lengths back in junction coasting along while third Rich Strike has moved up on the inside he's now fourth he's advancing down toward the rail Last Samurai keeping him pinned down inside but they're both catching up to West Willpower Folsom is still the trailer four for lungs to go on to the far turn West Willpower continues to show the way Proxy has been right there throughout, and he's three quarters behind with three furlongs to go. 
Last Samurai within range, so to Injunction. Rich Strikes coming under a ride, he's fifth and down inside. Folsom's gonna switch to the outside for the final quarter mile. West Willpower set down for the drive. Proxy comes wide off the turn. These two head to head. Last Samurai third, Folsom fourth and closing. Racing for the eighth pole. West Willpower bracing for Proxy. West Willpower digs in. Proxy surges. Nothing between them with a 16th to go. Proxy on the outside. West Willpower fights on. But Proxy got it. Proxy beats West Willpower right on the wire. Folsom was third. And off the board was the Derby winner, Rich Strike. And they're in the gate. And they're off. Mo Happy squeeze just a bit coming out of there. 2020 hooks, breaks right out on top and is racing for the lead. Rory will take charge, comes on to be second, and Shady Road is there. Oh, awkward stride there for 2020 hoax. 2020 hoax has been uh, pulled up out of the race as they cross over onto the main track. And so that leaves Royal Take Charge with a narrow lead. Shady Road prompting second off the charts, right up and on the pace on the outside third. Awesome Alley V in the clear while fourth star table drafting in behind fifth. Mo Happy right there in the thick of it sixth. Broadband and a break of six back to Sweet Carolina, the trailer. So down the backstretch run, Royal Take Charge hits the half mile pole pressed by Shady Road. Royal Take Charge holding on to the lead so far. Shady Road is poised on the outside second. Off the chart, sent up three wide, third, four wide. Awesome Alley V. Awesome Alley V revving up quickly. And Star Tables right in behind while fifth, and Mo Happy's in sixth. So round the far turn, Royal Take Charge still in front. Quarter mile to go. Shady Road in a full out drive, but it's second off the turn. Awesome Alley V now third, top of the lane. Royal Take Charge trying to fend off Shady Road. Shady Road's not done yet and is coming back for more. One for long to go. Royal Take Charge digs in once again. Shady Road desperately trying to get by, but Royal Take Charge kicks away away again and Royal Take Charge does it. Royal Take Charge was first. Shady Road settles for second. Sweet Carolina rallied for third. Awesome Alley V was fourth and Mo Happy was fifth.